Welcome to another video from the farm. Today we're changing out our big blue water filters. So we've got a two part water filter for our filter that's connected to our well. And they are 22 inch big blue filters. One is a sort of sediment filter, one is a carbon filter. So firstly we're going to change the sediment filter which is basically, if we have a look in there, pretty much just a massive roll of coffee filter that's compressed together a little bit that stops any kind of sediment even your little fine clay particles from going through into the next stage and then the second part of the filter is a carbon filter now this is compact little pieces of pure carbon that's going to filter out any kind of heavy metals any kind of chlorine stuff like that from your water and also it's going to filter out the larger bacteria too so we both of these on We've got pretty good quality water. Let's go start changing them out then. So what we've got to do then is use this tool to unscrew these. There we go, that's it loose. So something to bear in mind with these, if you've got them configured in a similar way to me, these are both going to be full of water when you unscrew them. So have something to hand to put the water in or make sure you can have a clear route outside to chuck it. Now, you can instantly see our sediment filter is ridiculously blocked up. Now that's because we've got a pretty fresh well. It's only two years old now. This filter though, however, has been in here 18 months or so. So it's done a good job and we've only just started noticing a real reduced flow rate from it. Obviously, unless you're gonna routinely change your water filter every six months or so, that's how you're going to tell when it needs changing, Is it's not going to pump very much water through anymore. Now so give it a quick swill, get rid of most of the gunk. Give it a better clean than I've done. But hey ho, got plenty of these filters left, so one a year is not bad so far. And it's literally, yeah, just stick that in, get your uh, little spacer around the top, and it's that simple. Now we're good to go on screwing this one back in. Now as long as you've got that little spacer in there, and you line it up right, it should screw back on very easily. And don't forget to use your tool, lock it real tight. <sighs> there we go. As yeah, this is pressurised once it's all done up again, so nice and tight and you won't have any spraying water anywhere. I'm pretty sure because of the state of that other filter that this carbon filter is going to need changing too. I was planning on doing it, but hey ho, we'll crack on. Second one now. So same again. With the tool, just break the seal, get it a bit loose so we can hand turn it. So as you can see here, as I thought... We have had a little bit of sediment starting to go through. A little bit of brown building up on the outside edge here. So it's a good job we're going to change this one. So we've got the same deal. Give it a little bit of a rinse out. And we've got a little plug at the bottom there, which we've got to slot this onto to try and balance it out. Now this one from my experience with setting this up, is way, way, way harder to get in the correct position. So much more essential that you put in your little guide around the top like this to try and hold it in the right spot. Like that, let's go put it in. And it's more difficult, as you can see, because we've got a solid ring there to press into the, the hole at the top rather than a bit of spongy material which can sort of squash into it a bit more. So we've got to be way more precise on putting this back. Last thing then, one more tighten. We should be good to go. Let's switch the pump. Last few air bubbles just bubbling out. But we're there. We've got water pressure again in our outside taps. Happy days. So that didn't take too long at all in the end. The only difficult thing was, as I mentioned, the carbon filter, trying to get that to line up with a little spigot in the top of the filter housing bit difficult but got there in the end if you've got a little shallow well like we have or a pond or a river you want to pump water from they're really really good clean the water up amazingly 
So, not too difficult at all to change the water filters. I hope that's given you a rough idea on how to do one if you're watching this and you haven't got one yourself but you're thinking about getting one. The only real extra you'd need for full quality drinking water then would be some sort of UV filter or an ozone water filter or something like that. But you've got perfect quality water for showering, watering plants, all sorts of stuff. Alright then, hope you've enjoyed this quick video from the farm. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and become one. Until next time, bye bye.